It's said that education is the civil rights fight of the 21st century. It was actually the civil rights fight of the 20th century. Yet to this day, our country and our state of Massachusetts have a problem. Decades after historic civil rights battles. Remember, 69 years ago, Jackie Robinson broke the baseball color line. 68 years ago, Truman issued an executive order desegregating the military. 62 years ago, in the landmark Brown versus Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas case, the US Supreme Court declared that segregating blacks in lower quality schools was unconstitutional. 61 years ago, in Alabama, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat. And a long 53 years ago, Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth recruited MLK to Birmingham to lead mass demonstrations. We'd like to think these fights are a distant memory in Arkansas, Kansas, in the Deep South, but we know that's not true. I think the battle over school choice and educational options began when Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court, Earl Warren, announced the unanimous opinion of the United States Supreme Court in the five consolidated cases of Brown v. Board of Education. Now there's a direct correlation, I believe, between Brown v. Board and charter schools. Once Brown was on the book, so to speak, that we spent decades trying to come up with ways, presumably, to educate children of color, quality, opportunities, options, choice, charter, presumably as a way of helping school boards and local governments implement what they thought the court meant. We really do know how to educate children. It is not rocket science. But the one thing it requires the most is something that our nation has yet to make happen, and that is political will, and a recognition that this is a collective action, that if we have children who are failing, who are not achieving, who are not successful, we all pay the price for that. It is not us and them, it is only us. So let's not suggest that there's something so terribly wrong about another type of public schooling that has been proven to be successful, particularly here in Boston. As a nation, shouldn't we be focused on the best public options to ensure, particularly those children whose parents don't have economic options, that their children would still have a pipeline to educational excellence? Because this is a country that has to belong to all of us.